There's things that can happen in this life that can really hold you up. And one of them, one of the things that can complicate and fuck your life up to no end is when you make the mistake of allowing really stupid people into your life. Yeah. Because really stupid people, they're not thinking about themselves, they're not thinking about you, they're just thinking about filling holes, whether it's emotional holes or psychological holes, and they're not, they're not really even there for you. I and wish I'd learned that. They're yeah. everywhere! They're like poisonous plants that look like the real thing. It's like if if you you like there was a certain smell that celery gave off and if you <laughs> ate it it just breaks your dick gives you diarrhea gives you headaches for six months right. you'd avoid that like the plague right well but that is the case with relationships it's the case with friendships Very it's awesome. the case case with relationships and at, when I was young I felt like I was fighting up river. I felt like those motherfuckers, these weak dummies that will get in your life and make up stories, lie or be mean to you or shit on you or say things about you behind your back, they're your enemy. But that took, for me at least, it took some, I had to, I had to develop that understanding on my own. I had to develop the understanding of like when to do it, when to not, when to be kind to people, and when to like to try to genuinely let someone know that you can't listen to this anymore. You know, like listen, I, I'm sure you're a nice guy, but here, this is my take on this, and this is why I don't like discussing these things. Whereas if I was 23, I would have been like, dude, please shut the fuck up. You're killing my brain, you fucking dummy. Don't, you didn't Seen thought this do shit through. Saw him do that a couple oh, times. Oh, well, people will fucking beat you down. They will beat you down with stupidity. They will climb inside your head and, and just say a bunch of stupid shit at you. And if you allow, if you like venture into that world, you're gonna be hanging around with problems to solve where you get nowhere. Your life is not gonna be like figuring out your life. Your life is gonna be dealing with whatever emotional bullshit these morons in your life have dragged into it. And instead of like supporting each other and helping each other and evolving together, you're in this constant weird stream of conflict with the person that you're friends with. And I think he's mad at me, man. I don't know what the fuck I did, but you know, he's got a bug up his ass lately. Like, you know those type of people? Yeah, yeah. And they start conflicts and then, hey, Bobby thinks you're mad at him. I mean, I don't know what you want to do. Like that, what, what is all that? What is, where's that coming from? Those, those are pro you, get, you let that shit into your life, you got problems. It's really simple. Don't be a cunt. The point where we'd be constantly late for things because he would always have like 15 different obligations with some asshole that he was hanging out with. Dude, dude, I really need you there. But I think what, what what you were bringing up with Joey is a real good point that a lot of people say, oh, I just want to sort of, they kinda, they're kind of dabbling in the idea of improving themselves. And the real way to do it is you got to write down what the fuck you want and then go after it. Because otherwise you live in sort of a wishy-washy world. You know, if you decide, I'm going to get down to, bang, I'm going to do this. I'm going to run a marathon in less than five hours. I'm going to, you know, whatever the fuck it is, you got to write that shit down and go for it. What I tell people is the best advice that I, I've ever heard, the best advice I ever came up with, is that live your life like you're the hero in your movie. And right now is when the fucking movie starts and your life is a shitbag disaster, like every fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he wakes up and makes a blender full of pizza and ice cream and that's what he, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those guys where they're like on the brink, they put the gun in their mouth and they put it down because they see a photo of their daughter. Pretend that's you. <laughs> Pretend you are, uh, right now, you're in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a fucking loser. And just decide not to be a loser anymore. Live your life like there's a documentary crew following you around and you are analyzing your own behavior. Do what you would want to do so that your kids one day would look back at it and, and, and see that documentary and look on it with pride. Like, wow, my dad was a bad motherfucker. He really did what he had to do. Wow, my mom really got her shit together. I'd love a success story, but even more than a success story, I like a dude who fucks his life up and then gets it back together again story. Those are my favorite stories. And the way to do that, you gotta write shit down. You gotta think that you are the hero in your own fucking movie, and then you gotta sit down and you gotta write shit down. Write down what you need to do. Most people play the role of the victim in the movie, right? Sure. Yeah, this life is fucking me over, man. I could have had this and I should have had that. And why does this guy get that? And why does that guy get this? And all things that are completely unrelated to you. Yeah. All things that you, you find other people's success as a, a, a downfall in your own existence. Instead of being inspired, instead of choosing to be positive, instead of like improving constantly on, on the direction of trying to achieve whatever the fuck you have written down, you just sit around and spiral. 
you know? There's nothing more miserable than sitting around someone who's fucking complaining all the time. It is one of the most annoying things ever. Everybody hates it. When someone just sits around and they complain about their life and they don't do jack shit about it. And you tiptoe around it, you don't know what to say. Well, she gets upset when you bring that up. I don't want to bring that up. And you want to go, you fucking crazy bitch, you know what's wrong with your life. Yeah. Stop, stop announcing it to everybody else and go out and fix that shit. And that's tough love. Yeah, Tough I, love is what everybody needs, absolutely. me included. That's the only good thing about like assholes on the internet. Sometimes they <laughs> say things that's right, and you know, a part of you is like, "Fuck you, who the fuck are you?" But you you feel bad if things are correct. You feel bad if someone nails you. You feel bad if you really did. If you didn't do anything wrong, and someone acts like a cunt, is just like they look like a crazy person. Like, but you have to be able to have that honest assessment of yourself. And the only way you can do that is you're taking account of yourself all day long. You're taking account. You're writing down what the fuck you need to do. You're doing it. You have a, a mindset that you want to maintain throughout the day. Don't let the world maintain your mindset. You choose what mindset that you are going to maintain. And I fucking do that for sure. That's it. 